provide the class name okay what is our class name so we can mention anything so today we are going to see a switch case example so we will mention it uh, here yes so it will create the class with package name right because what we did we just simply right click here go to new and click on class java class select java class and provide the name of the class okay and it will generate the class for you so this is our predefined structure which is created by id okay we just have provided this name and it has generated the whole stuff for us so what is the beauty of id now you can observe that thing so i am going to write main method so how we can write main method in id so earlier when we type it in notepad plus plus at that time what we need to do we need we required to write each and everything by our own but the main advantage of id is we just have to provide shortcuts and it will generate the code for us now i want to write main method right so to write main method simply i'll write main and it will say see here it is showing that main method declaration right and i will simply enter and it will create the main method for us okay so this is the beauty of id now we can minimize this thing and i will just simply make it bigger visible so now now onwards we no more required that java c and java to run the uh, our programs okay simply we can use the id to run our application so how we can run that so as this is our first application in id i will print simple sop so how we can write the sops here so why people usually call system dot out dot retell as a sop because See, I write simply as out, and it shows me all the methods present inside it. What I can write. So first thing is prints a strings to system dot out dot printer, which is not visible. So it is in front of the system. Okay, and simply press enter. It will generate the system dot out dot printer. What I did. I'll do it again. Simply, I write as out and enter. It generated the system dot out dot print element form. Right? What I'll do? I'll just write. This is my. This is my first programming ID. And how we can run it? Simply, the symbol is here, right? Or we can right click here and run. So this way, it will run our application or our program. So now here you are, you can see this. It is showing that build. So why it is showing this as a build? Because we have added this project as a Maven project. And see, this is our output. So now, henceforward, we no more required to go to the command prompt and write the program from there. Uh, I mean, write program in Notepad plus plus and save it in somewhere. So everything we can do inside ID itself. So now we are starting with our actual development. Hopefully, you have done the practice. For the syntax purpose, and uh, I'm assuming that now onwards you can able to type the code, and uh, your mistakes will minimize. 
so this is our first application in id now simply what we have to do you can minimize that output console from here and if you want to see that again here the run button is there so you can click this is actually tabs so these are tabs so when we click on run tab it will appear here again and minimize the button. okay so now we have to see switch case so what is the purpose of switch case how we can use that right so first case we can use like uh, i have suppose how many days are uh, how many days in the week seven right how many days in the week seven correct so i just simply want to print whenever i pass one at that time it should print sunday right when i pass two it should print monday when i pass three it should print print tuesday monday tuesday correct so this simple program i want to implement so for that what i need to what i required to uh, i mean which variable i should take because i want to pass int value right so i will take int this is day of this is day of w capital this is day of p variable name is day of p and i'll pass it here two so if i'll pass two it should print monday correct so that i want to convert into switch case so how i can do that so the syntax for switch case is switch inside bracket what i need to do i need to pass this variable and open curly bracket and closing curly bracket. now here i will write the multiple cases like case one okay so whenever this day of week is one at that time what it should print so it should print what it should print sunday okay now so once this printing has done then it should break that switch once that printing is done it should break that switch okay next is case 2 now what it should print system dot out dot print tell it should print monday okay now again it should break once the printing has completed okay now so why we require break and all that explanation i will give later but for now you just keep in mind that what is this this is break statement so why it is required whenever any uh, looping through statement we want to break in that case we can use break okay. now case three what i want to print system dot out dot print element use okay. and that's it remaining uh, Days you can write by your own. So I'll just uh, tell you the cases. Okay. So remaining cases you can write by your own. Okay. Now suppose user can, uh, user entered something uh, different value. Like user is not entering here one, two, or three. So in that case, what should happen? What can happen? So here also. Okay. Right. Now, 
if condition not not match with any case then what will happen then in that case we want to print default it's like a else condition so if we are matching with the all conditions if no condition matches with this then it will execute the default and the thumb rule is we always keep default last default as a last statement okay. so here what I, what I will print system dot outdoor print ln valid okay valid this is our series. so this scenario what it should print let's run this here also one run button is there or simply we can right click and run it again so in this case what is the expected output monday okay. so printed monday because we have passed two so now i want to pass pi here which is nowhere mentioned in the cases right which is not available in the switch case so what happened here this default case will get executed what it will show it will show that invalid input so it is as simple as fx only okay only the difference is syntactical difference so as i said when we go with the switch case and then we go with the if else so if there is two or three conditions which we are writing inside if else or there are conditional statement two or three then we should go with the if else but if the conditions are more then we should go with the switch case okay. this is the example of And invalid. I hope it's visible to you. Printed invalid. Okay. Now, how we can utilize this? How and where we can utilize this? So once our switch, our for and while loop done, we will create one simple project using our existing knowledge as I said. Okay. So once we done with our 